morning, everyone, um, while we're getting set up. Would Wanda Broughton and Ellen Snelling, let me get your title, the board chair of the Hillsborough County Anti-Drug Alliance, please join me at the podium, as well as uh, Miss Dottie Groover Skipper. Good morning and thank you for joining us. Cities and counties across the nation have dedicated themselves to fighting an epidemic that is killing countless numbers of people and destroying families. That epidemic is fentanyl addiction, which has been dramatically increasing with each passing year. What is truly frightening is how fentanyl is being distributed across the nation. According to the Drug Enforcement Agency, fentanyl can be manufactured with other illicit drugs to increase potency. It can be sold as a powder or mixed with other illicit drugs, and it can be pressed into counterfeit pills to look like legitimate pharmaceutical drugs. The good news is that Hillsborough County law enforcement agencies, the 13th Judicial Circuit, and all community partners, most notably the Hillsborough County Drug Alliance, are committed to raising awareness to how to combat and defeat the horrible epidemic. This proclamation, which I am honored to represent to present to Ms. Snelling and Ms. Broughton, further illustrates Hillsborough County's de dedication to its residents, especially those who fell victim to fentanyl. Normally I would read the exact words of the proclamation, but I want to summarize it to allot the maximum amount of time to the two individuals that are speaking after me, because it's my opinion that their personal stories are much more important than what this pro proclamation encompasses. I will say that fentanyl is not just, it's not just a problem of addiction. You almost can't go to a Publix pharmacy at this point and not see pharma. Um, Narcan sitting on the shelf. It's, it's a contact drug that is intentionally synthetic to have the most potent effect on your cardiac system possible. This is much more than an, an addiction. This is um, now impacting children that are simply experimenting in the United States of America. And while that may itself have your own opinions, Children don't deserve to die simply for experimenting with a drug because they didn't know that a synthetic opioid, um, 100 times stronger than a normal opioid, was um, laced into what they were trying. So I will close and say that be, now, therefore, be it proclaimed that the Board of County Commissioners of Hillsborough County, Florida, does hereby declare June 6, 2024, as Fentanyl Prevention and Awareness Day in Hillsborough County and encourages continued efforts to educate the public regarding the effects of fentanyl and explore ways to provide the community with resources to combat this public health crisis awarded the fifth day of June 2024. Before I turn over the mic to Mrs. Snelling, I would like to point out to those in the public that might not have seen the article that came out that Sheriff Grady Judge, Sheriff Chronister, and Attorney General Ashley Moody recently arrested um, three three traffical, traffickers that were tracked from deep Mexico through the California border all the way to here in Hillsborough County one living in Riverview, two in south of them, illegal immigrants in Waimama that trafficked enough fentanyl to kill five million people. That is enough fentanyl to kill the population of Hillsborough County entirely three times over. This is a very serious issue and I do believe that society needs to take it as such. So Ms. Snelling, thank you um, for the Alliance and all of you've done. Would you like to say a few words? Sure. Well, I'd like to say thank you so much to Commissioner Wastel and all the Board of the County Commission for taking the time to bring our public's attention to this terrible public health epidemic. And like Commissioner Wastel just said, this is not the average type of drug. This drug is so much more potent than morphine and oxycodone, and just a small speck of it can kill. And the way that's being trafficked across the border and coming from China, going to Mexico, coming into our country and killing over 100,000 people across this country last year. And it has affected many of us in Hillsborough County personally, as myself. 
I'm the board chair of the Hillsborough County Drug Anti-Drug Alliance. Um, I have a daughter in recovery, and Dottie uh, Griever Skipper is also on the board. We both share something in common that you know I would rather not have share in common. We we both have children, but we have one of our children that are battling addiction and in recovery. So we that's the reason I joined the Anti-Drug Alliance to get resources and to help other people. But I also very, very sadly lost my brother, my younger brother, 10 years younger than me, and lost him to fentanyl. He battled addiction, specifically oxycodone. He had a back injury. Back in the day, anyone who had an injury got oxycodone, became addicted. Then there was a crackdown on pill mills, went to heroin, in and out of treatment. He was trying, we were all trying to get him the help he needed. But addiction is a disease. It's really, really difficult to get people help. He was even in treatment, but I got a call late. It was in December 2016 from my sister-in-law and she was crying and she said, we lost your brother. And they found him in his room and he was already gone. There was nothing that could be done. He had relapsed and he used some heroin but had no idea that it had fentanyl in it. And that's the problem with fentanyl. A lot of people that use it have no idea. It's laced in almost everything now. It's in cocaine, it's in meth, it's in pills that people have no idea, like Xanax, um, Percocet, different pills that are manufactured again by the cartels, get into this country, looks exactly like a regular drug, and a child can just be experimenting and take one and lose their life. So again, I just really thank the county commission for taking the time and to, to get this out to the public on how dangerous this epidemic is. And I just want you to think about this number, 583. 583 brothers, sisters, daughters, sons, mothers, fathers were lost in Hillsborough County last year. That's terrible. There's, we've got to do more about that. The number did come down slightly from the year before, so I feel like the efforts that the Anti-Drug Alliance, the Sheriff's Office, Tampa Police Department, all of us working together to try to stop this epidemic is helping, but we have such a long way to go. And I also wanted to say um, that I'm so sorry to Wanda. I know that she lost a loved one, and I feel like probably everyone in this room has someone who either has an addiction problem or you have either have a loss or you know someone who has been lost to drugs. So again, thank you so much for, for bringing attention to fentanyl and for proclaim, proclaiming June 6th as Fentanyl Awareness Day. Ms. Broughton, would you like to say a few words? Sure. Okay. Hi, um, there's nothing really that I can add that um, the commissioner uh, didn't already say about um, the facts and how deadly this is. And yes, we did um, recently lose a, a grandson. <clears throat> but he didn't have an addiction problem. He was experimenting with drugs. And this is what we see with the teens. We see that they're targeted by these drug dealers who are lacing everything that you consider recreational drugs or party drugs with deadly fentanyl. And they're unsuspecting. They have no idea. My grandson purchased um, a small amount of cocaine. He had no idea that it was laced with fentanyl. He did the cocaine and within five minutes he was dead. And this is how it happens. If you've seen other sheriffs in other counties, they'll tell you, you know, this is deadly. When you take this, you die and you die right there. This is how it works. We've all seen these pictures that they post up, the DEA pictures of the enlarged penny with the small little specks of you know, a little powder, white powder. Uh, two milligrams is all it takes to, to kill 20 people. It's deadly, it's lethal. It's the most deadly poison drug that has ever existed in this nation. I've been a nurse for um, over 35 years, certified in case management, certified in disability management. I've seen uh, painkillers. I've seen people become addicted. I've told my children, my grandchildren of the dangers. Um, nothing can prepare you, nothing. They don't prepare you for how deadly this fentanyl is. 
and we need to fight back, and we need to fight back now. We need to fight back strong. And I think that this proclamation and this, this declaration of Fentanyl Awareness Day is a really big step towards getting um, further resources that we need to combat this problem. Thank you. Um, thank you for sharing that. And um, before we gather for our group photo, I would just, um, I, I had the privilege of meeting Dylan, her grandson, and having lunch with him impromptu while I was touring their farm. And my one and only memory of him, to give you an idea, was he was trying to um, convince his grandfather and grandmother that the mud all over his truck was not from him going too fast um, and that he was not going mudding. And, and this is the type of challenge that we and our families and our young ones deal with who are just innocent and entering life. And never get that opportunity that's stole from them and it's fleeting and and any opportunity you have to educate um, anyone to um, on the the detrimental impacts of modern day opioid synthetics um, is a chance that you might be able to save a life.